You might not think twice when you see barbecue sauce on pizza, but if you go back 30 years, it was at the center of a huge food revolution, and restaurant chain California Pizza Kitchen started it all. Following in the footsteps of California cuisine trailblazers like Alice Waters and Wolfgang Puck, California Pizza Kitchen was founded in 1985 by two former attorneys looking to turn California-style pizza into a national phenomenon. They kind of took the Neapolitan pizza that was really known for being thin crust with sauce and cheese and just messed with it. They, they threw out all the rules. They, they took these global influences from like Jamaican jerk, barbecue chicken, and they would put all that stuff on pizza. CPK's attack on pizza traditions started when they hired chef Ed Ledoux out of Puck Spago. Ledoux's first and most famous creation for the chain was their original barbecue chicken pizza, which swapped out tomato sauce for barbecue sauce and topped the pie off with smoked gouda, mozzarella, chicken, red onions, and cilantro. While it may not seem especially novel to put chicken on a pizza when you look at today's pizza landscape, it was a total game changer in the 1980s. It's sweet and tangy at the same time. I like it a lot. The chain expanded aggressively in malls and other shopping centers around the entire United States and even found success internationally. The question is, with so much expansion, has the brand managed to stay good? I don't know, I think I'm more of like a pizza or barbecue person. I mean, it's, it's edible. Is it cheap? It's not like great. <laughs> it's like better Domino's, I would say. That's not the right flavor profile. <laughs> you know what, it's better than I remember it. It's definitely not good. Despite this, the chain still has plenty of loyal fans. So what was it that made California Pizza Kitchen such a success? They were really kind of globalizing the food and the ingredients and the toppings and making people familiar with them in a way that felt kind of progressive for the time. So they had a tandoori chicken pizza for a while, and in that time in the 90s, people didn't really know that much about Indian food or Indian cooking, especially in Georgia, where I grew up. And it was something where they were like, this is cool. They're doing something kind of different and progressive. CPK has expanded like crazy. And whatever you think of the product today, know that 30 years ago, you would have been biting into something revolutionary. While it may not impress pizza purists, CPK is still beloved by its fans around the world.